Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to the centre of Moscow. Now I'm only about a 10 minute walk from the Kremlin and the Red Square and we're here to check out Rostics, the grand openings today. And I'm here a little bit early so we're going to get a look behind the scenes of the official opening of the first Rostic in all of Russia. So let's head on inside. Now if you're wondering where we are in Moscow, right across the street is Mayakovskaya metro station. This is Sverskaya Street, probably one of the most famous streets that lead directly from Red Square and the Kremlin. If you literally walk 10 minutes down that road, you'll be right there. There's a few scooters go flying by. And this is the Rostics location. Now, from what I understand, this was the first location that Rostics opened in Moscow many, many, many years ago. And then it became KFC over time. And now it's gone back to Rostic. Now, one of the interesting things in a lot of the media and press photographs, that big R wasn't up there. And it was just a Rostics name right there. So for them to have the big R now, it's a very big deal. And I was just looking there. So this doesn't open till later today. So I'm here a little bit early. But when it is open, check that out. It opens from 6 a.m. to 4 a.m. every day of the week. They're only closed for two hours. Probably that's just for cleaning. I don't know, maybe to sleep. But it says right there, opening today at 5 p.m. So I've got a chance to go in early and check it out. And check it out on the posters here as well. They've already got the logo on the cups. So that's pretty cool. I wonder if that's like a strawberry ice cream. I don't think I've ever, ever had ice creams at KFC before. Has anybody had them? Let me know in the comments. And I think if anyone's watched any of my other videos before, or maybe you live in Russia, there's always a good tip for you. If you ever see balloons at the entrance of somewhere, it means it's a grand opening or the first day opening. Because I think there's a, there must be a balloon company in Moscow who only make grand opening uh, banners like this. Okay, everybody, I'm going to try to kind of walk around a little bit. It's very hectic with press, with photographers, with bloggers, with TikTokers, with everybody. So I'm going to try to walk around and see if we can kind of get a bit of a vibe of the place. Uh, obviously, the store isn't fully open yet, so I'm still waiting a little bit longer for the restaurant to be open, but we can kind of get a get a little bit of a feel for the place. Okay, so the hardest thing for now is trying to get that iconic photo and view and shot of the food and have a look at everybody waiting here. Uh, there is kind of people wanting to get that iconic photo of that first sort of piece of food out of the restaurant. So, and they're gonna do take two now, so. This is how it is. <laughs> and there she goes again one more time. Is she really taking the burgers? No, she's going back again. And again, this is take five now, I think. Now, being able to come in a little bit early, I can kind of get a good view of the counter. All the staff are waiting. Now, we're only five hours early, by the way. So everybody's got smiles on their first five hours before it opens. Let's have a look at the menu there. All the food. And then all of these photographers waiting for a photo of the first chicken to come out of the kitchen. Now, have a look at this. So one of the ladies here that's come in has uh, offered to kind of See if they can uh, hold the first tray of food. And uh, the photographers are so excited about this, I think. Now, I'm really curious, uh, these staff members here. So we're here five hours early, five hours early. And everybody's, I think, just more happy that the store's gonna open. It's been closed for more than a year. So it's all come down to this. So. Look at everybody just standing patiently. Now the press conference obviously is in Russian. I don't understand Russian, so they've actually got to televise on screens all through the restaurant because 
there's so many people here. Like there is literally, I don't know, three, four hundred people. There's more press here than I saw when I went to the Kuzna Itochka opening, when I went to the Sved House opening. It's really kind of, uh, I don't know, it's really exciting, I think, for the Russian, uh, for everybody in Russia, that it's going to be opening today, finally. And here is the man in charge of the whole company right here. He's actually just around the corner there, but it's so crowded, it's impossible to get in there. So check it out. Let's have a get, see if we can get a bit closer, shall we? Now yeah, we have to be quiet now when we go this way, because this is where they're asking all the questions. Uh, yeah. We'll go a little bit closer. Sorry. Okay, so I'll just jump in here with a bit of a voiceover. So the press conference went on for about an hour. Uh, there was basically some organized uh, sort of speeches by the different three people sitting at the table there. And then there was a Q&A with the different press. They had to introduce themselves and ask their question. Uh, most of the questions were just about the handover from KFC to Rostick and what the differences will be. Uh, will they change the name of some of the menu items? Will the prices change? Uh, very simple kind of questions. Nothing too tricky about the company and the, you know, the, the master franchise or anything like that. Now, of course, there is no customers in the store yet and everybody that you kind of see around in the video is invited VIPs, press, bloggers. I would imagine it's family of some of the staff and employees. So there's lots of people everywhere and all the kind of nooks and crannies of the restaurant. It's actually a very big store, this. And I just noticed over here, there's this kind of like photo opportunity, which I think probably later on, everybody will be kind of gathering around this, but, and I just noticed too on the signage here, herbs and spices. I wonder in the comments, you can let me know what was that original statement and how many herbs and spices were famous in the uh, KFC before Rostics came along. I wonder if maybe they've got a different number now. Okay, so the press conference is over now and this area that was chaotic before has emptied out a little bit and everybody's moved over now to the kitchen so that you can actually have a walk around and see the food and the preparation. So we'll head on over there and see if we can get a little bit closer. All right, so I'm going to try and head on over to the counters where they're doing the opening of the cafe. Now I can kind of hear the crowds cheering already and there is literally hundreds of people. I probably should have tried to get over there a bit earlier, but let's see how close we can get. So maybe I didn't have to get that close to the chicken and to the opening. I can hear them clapping hands and excitement and have a look. It's waiting for me, Rostick's chicken. I might be the first Australian maybe the first uh, person in Russia to have the chicken, I wonder. I'm sure someone else is probably already tucking into some by now, but have a look at the crowds over here. All right, let's see how much closer we can get. I don't think too close, but we can see from here. I think uh, the restaurant and the entrance is right off in the distance over here, but uh, yeah, maybe not yet I'll get that much closer, but we'll try. Uh, so part of being uh, here in the grand opening now, the microphone has got really loud, but uh, they're doing a tasting of all the food. So they've got samples laid out here, all the different teas and coffees, I think. And then all of the wraps and burgers. And uh, well, look at this. Let's get that first shot of the chicken right there. All right, so they're still talking on the microphone, and it's incredibly loud, but uh, let's check it out a little bit closer if we can. I think everybody wants to take photos, videos, get them on social media. So now it's a little bit quieter after they uh, did the ribbon cutting, which I just couldn't get close enough, but it's okay. No worries. The ladies in the trench coat, like it's going to be snowing outside. There we go. Look at that, all the way through. 
How cool is this? Wow. Oh, and they had a, a, I think they had a special cake. Check out the cake right there. Wow. How cool is this? I think it's a cake. Whoa. How neat is that? And the staff in their uniforms right here. And everybody just wants to see the food. They want to see the chicken. They want to get as close as possible to the action. And it's kind of hectic with everybody everywhere, but no worries. This is the thing. Traveling with Russell is here. And we get a chance to be the first, maybe the first Australian to try rustics. Wow, how exciting. Now there's probably a few too many people who want to go in and see the kitchen, but you can actually basically suit up and wear all of the, you know, the kitchen gear and go on in there, but I think I'm just going to stick to eating the chicken. I don't really want to see how they make it. I know it's a hidden secret. I don't want to keep it that way. So when Kuzni Tochka originally opened, there was an iconic photo that went around the whole world of the staff basically carrying that first tray of food. And all of these photographers are kind of waiting to get that iconic photo that they can send out to Reuters and all the different sort of news agencies. And it's sort of just anticipation. You know, the funny thing is, right, when you come to these kind of launches, you know, we're at a chicken restaurant launch and I feel for a minute or two that I'm at a wedding. You know, the famous Russian blue suits are back and you know, there's a confusion of who's famous, who's not, who's kind of the press, and who's just here to eat chicken. All right, so that really was a chicken cake, but it really just looks like a, a sponge cake when we see it close up, but chicken cake, sponge cake, it's all the I'm same sorry. thing. Okay, I finally got a chance to sit down and try some food. Now, I wasn't able to get the chicken, although we saw so much of it before, but I got one of the wraps, I think everybody knows the products that are from KFC very well. Now, for me, this is KFC. Now, I think even the people from Rostics and at the press conference, they won't hide the fact that what they're selling here is still KFC. Uh, will they change the products over time? Will they change the, you know, the style and the design of things? I mean, have a look at the coloring, the packaging. This is KFC, right? I mean, the fries, Still the fries. Hmm. There's something about KFC fries. You know, they're just a little bit salty. They're a uh, little bit crunchy. And they're good. Now the wrap, of course, this is the chicken tender with the lettuce. Oh. Now, of course, <laughs> I'm here just after lunch, so I'm also here for for lunch as well, but this is KFC, really. This actual location we're in today has been closed since last year. So this is the first rustic to open in all of Russia. And obviously going forward, they're gonna rebrand a lot of the KFCs to rustic. I keep wanting to say rustics. Rustic, rustics. And then what looks like Coca-Cola or Cola is actually Eves. So uh, for a very long time, KFC always had the agreement with Pepsi. And in Russia, Pepsi left Russia. But Eves is here, which essentially is Pepsi. Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's still Pepsi to me. I was never really a Pepsi fan. I mean, when I come to KFC, I'll drink it because it's part of the menu. But for me, I was always a Coca-Cola drinker over Pepsi, so yeah, it's just a personal thing. So I'm gonna enjoy a little bit more of my lunch. Hopefully we can get some chicken and I'll get another shot of that. And yeah, I hope so far the video is coming out okay. Okay, to give you the full experience, I thought I'd suit up and go and check out the kitchen. I'm just gonna watch my step and I'm following the group now, so let's go. Now this little excursion is actually in Russian. So it's okay though. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, thank you. And here we go in the back, behind the scenes. My name is Anastasia. Today I'm going to show you an excursion in our restaurant. 
Okay. Yeah. Push. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. One, two, two clicks. This so. Okay. Wash your hand. With water now. Okay. Oh. Do this again. Oh. Okay. Now drying. Yeah. Right. And after that, use this one. One click. Perfect. We have to say one pump. Yeah. Not one click. One yeah. pump. One pump. Okay. Thank you so much. Wow. But to come into the kitchen, you have to do like a five-step process to uh, come into the kitchen. Of course, the hygiene has to be up to standard like this. And off we continue on our tour and around the back areas of the restaurant. This refrigerator for keeping our fresh uh, chicken product. All right, so we get to see inside and see all of the chicken. I've never yeah. seen this before ever. Have a look, everything's vacuum sealed. Everything on all the racks there. Wow, I've never seen this before. I think no one has ever seen this before. And here is some of the behind the scenes secrets of them breading the chicken and breading the uh, chicken pieces. So this guy here really knows the secrets. It's so interesting to see this because I, I would never have seen this before. I think most people who are watching the video are seeing this for the first time, but have a look at those chicken legs right there. And soon this is very good picture. Oh, okay. Preparing our product. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. This is the deep fry machine right here. And it's very hard to get in here because all of the people are wanting to see this, but we're a little bit behind the filming, but okay. Oh, the countdown is on to see some chicken live. Magical. This is magical. All right, in a few seconds, done. Penny, Penny. <laughs> And there we go. Oh, wow. The chicken is right there. The best chicken. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. I just like how everyone's got smiles on their faces. I think there's something about coming to see food and food being cooked. All right, continuing the walk around here, we can see even the chicken bites right here. Oh, look at this. So we can actually even get up close with the chicken oh the right chicken. there oh my gosh wow this is i'm so so happy to make this video it's uh very interesting now getting to do this behind the scenes walk here it's very neat now i never worked in any fast food places when i was younger when i was out of school but i think uh for anyone that has i think they've seen these sort of processes before it's, uh, I think, a little bit stressful for all the staff today because, you know, we're all sort of walking around them and walking on top of them, but check that out. All right, walking around a little bit more, I get to see the fry station. And this is where they basically weigh out the fries here for the baskets. And then they go in the deep fryer over here. And then there's even the timers right on the front. Again, Henny Penny is right here. Not Money Penny, Henny Penny. And check this out, I'm behind the counter. And there's still a few people here doing some tasting and testing and still some of the media and the press are here. And then all the stuff. So they're basically doing all the same production that they do when it's open, but it's basically just going out on the tables for us all to have and taste and prepare. And then at five o'clock, that's when all heck breaks loose. So I think they're uh, counting down now a little bit. All right, we're trying to get our way out of here now and this lady's doing a very good job explaining about all the system here and all the different monitors. Let me keep walking through. Okay, so as the tours behind me continue, we finished my walk around now. It was really cool. Well, I thought it was anyway, to see behind the scenes. Actually, the coolest thing for me was seeing the chicken in the fridge and how it comes from basically the factory, I guess, where the chicken comes from. 
here into the rustic restaurant and that's for me that kind of fascinating part about that you can see here still the press are still making some uh, filming and videos they're talking with the managers and the staff you know it's really interesting it's like we haven't seen kfc before and we're all just gobsmacked by what we're seeing but you know this is what we all came for right here so have a look and that's where we were just before walking around the back areas right there and getting a kind of behind the scenes look okay we leave rustics behind i'm uh, gonna head down sveskaya street back towards red square now beautiful day here in moscow i've been there for quite a few hours inside so my belly's full after a nice lunch i got a little gift bag as well a, like a swag bag i guess they'd call it when you go to these kind of events i really do want to thank the staff the employees and everybody at rustic for inviting me and for being so nice and uh you know uh helpful towards me i think i was the only person who spoke english there uh, i did meet some chinese press which is a little bit interesting i had a chat with them and they actually interviewed me for their video that they were making so yeah what did you think of this brand reopening or changing you know for me it still is kfc everything about it there is really no changes uh, in the menu in the system that they're using in the how you order the food so yeah it's rustics has become or kfc has become rustics and that's it simple as that you know the actual opening will be at five o'clock of course now it's quite a bit earlier than that so i was there luckily with the early uh, arrivals so it wasn't as busy although there was a ton of press there uh, it was still very very interesting if you liked it give it a thumbs up or if you don't have a thumb give it a chicken leg up one chicken leg instead of a chicken leg down or a thumbs down thanks everybody post a comment let me know what you think let me know maybe where else i can go here in moscow and make a video somewhere maybe interesting like this i hope you're having a nice day i put another video for you to watch right after this one you can check that out now and i'm off on another adventure bye everybody bye